A very good morning to all of you. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Two Kinds of Prayer. Two Kinds of Prayer. Mark 9 24 says, Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Christians who attend liturgical church services, services where prayers and creeds are written out and repeated each Sunday, find security in the repetition of time-honored words. Christians who attend non-liturgical services find comfort in the opposite, praying and professing in a different, spontaneous way each week the Word of God and claiming the Word of God and pray over their needs with the Word of God. Not only is there room for both the Christendom, there is room for both in each Christian life. Jesus taught His disciples a prayer to pray, word for word, that has been repeated in the church services for nearly 2,000 over years. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 to 13. But the Bible is also filled with instances of spontaneous prayers, prayers that only make sense in that moment of need. Like the father who sought relief for his demonized son, he said, Lord, help my unbelief. Prayers prayed by memory allow us time to pray intent, uh, meditatively, thinking about God rather than searching for words. That means you pray thinking about what God has done for you in the past and how good God is and how amazing God is. Far more beyond words can count. Spontaneous prayers call up passion and devotion and shameless dependence on the one and only one, Jesus Christ, who can help you and I. As you pray, you know what? Spontaneous prayer, when you're in time of need, say, Lord, help me. And then, and then focus on the goodness, the nature, and the character of God, and the faithfulness of God, and the love of God. How much He has helped you in the past. To assure yourself, if He is good and faithful in the past, He is still good and faithful today. Why don't you trust Him? There are two kinds of prayer. One is to meditate on word, the Word of God and prayer that you have used, but another is spontaneous focus on the nature and the character of God. Amen. So as you pray, include both practical prayers and pressured prayers and enjoy the blessings that come from each kind of prayer. Soren Kierkegaard says, Prayer does not change God. It changes Him who prays. One more time. Prayer does not change God, but it changes Him who prays. Amen? God bless you and have a great day. Father, bless your people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you again in the next devotion.